Hello, my friends. How are you? Thank you for taking the time to join us for another stream Sunday night, August 11th. Lansago presents some Magic the Gathering Arena. And tonight, uh, kind of loosey goosey, actually. We've got this Amonkhet Singleton event. Debo and I are really up in the air about what the heck this is all about. So I think we'll probably start with that. I've got a Singleton deck that's built. As you can see, we've been doing some improvements to the stream. If you're here and you got a chance to catch that intro video, there's always next time. We'll play it at the beginning, and I'm, I would see that that getting changed up uh, quite a bit. You like the new set? Thank you. Thank you. There's there's definitely more to be done. Look, look, I'm I'm Jeremy Huge Hands. Look at my huge hands. <laughs> That's a, that actually looks really funny in terms of perspective. This is just ah. <laughs> That's kind of funny. But yeah, new set, new sets definitely kind of picking up a little bit. I've got my vial of magic juice here. That is water. And uh, going to keep making some modifications to the set. All right. So let's jump right into some Amonkhet Singleton. Uh, again, I am very, very excited to have you guys here with us today. We're going to get a Sunday draft uh, or a Sunday set of games in and get a stream uh, going five nights a week now. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. And it is time for us to rock and roll. All right, here we go. We get to find out what this is, Deebs. We get to find out what this is, my friend. Here we go. It says choose a deck. Hey. What do you say? You want to go mean green singleton? Start off. Let's take it in. Let's take it in. Let's get it done. Little mean green singleton. Super. Amber Zen. Amber Zen. Well, I hope you guys' day is going well. Uh, Debo and I had a very busy today on the other set. Lance Go stream and podcast. Uh, made a lot of improvements to that area as well. I'm sure Deebs is very excited to kind of share those with you. So I think this is keepable. We're going to snap keep that. And pass the turn to our opponent. Moral to Unity tapped. Ooh, we drew the Guardian Project. Be still my beating heart into a, a Thorn Lieutenant here. Turn to great card here. Generates 1-1 one, one green elf warrior creature tokens when it's targeted by a spell or an ability my opponent controls. And can be pumped for some insanely good damage. Let's keep developing our board here. Actually, let's not. Let's go ahead and remove any of the tempo that they have. And go to combat. Salt Eye into a Chromatic Lantern. Not super excited about that. Spells some kind of tricky stuff, but while they're tapped out, let's resolve the Guardian Project. And go to combat again. Down to 16. Down to 16. I do love me some Magic the Gathering. I really, really do. All right, that's a problem. Doesn't get the Guardian Project, but uh, we're going to get a 1-1 Elf token out of it. Alex not to, actually. Uh, I say we go right into the Cavalier of Thorns here. Draw a card from the Guardian Project. Anytime we play a card with a different name or it's put into our graveyard... No, no. Yes, anytime we play a card, as long as it doesn't share a card name with a card in our graveyard or in play... Uh, we draw a card. Guardian Project is fantastic. Debo and I actually built a deck around this. You can go out to lancego.com, scroll back a ways in the article section. But we were trying to do this before it was a thing, really. I mean, you probably were too. There's only so many good ideas, right? So Contempt on the Cavalier. 
We don't get the trigger. Oh, Ugin. How I love thee. Let me count the ways. Yeah, so I think we resolve Ugin here. Minus three Ugin. Clip the Vraska, which is probably our biggest threat at this point. He is colorless, so Veil of Summer doesn't save our opponent here. A little bit of mean green for that fanny. Johnny5, how you doing, brother? It's good to see you. Debo's here with us. Yark the Desecrated is resolved. We'll go ahead and plus up Ugin. Secrets manifest before you. Trigger, trigger. And we'll leave her right there. And you get you can see her too. You go ahead. You enjoy that. And next we will go to combat and pass the turn. Looks like Galt is coming out next turn too. Let's see. Do I want to kill his Yarek and just really Oh, it's not a legendary creature. It's too bad. Yeah, we gotta end the turn here. We can save that ancient animus for when we resolve Galta. Some singleton action. Okay, that's a big crisis. Go ahead and draw some cards. I, I guess that, uh, guess that works. Pass to attackers. Oh, man. Into combat. Opponent elected not to swing. So let's go ahead and resolve Galta here. Oh, we could have made him cheaper. Let's cancel. Let's make him cheaper. Nice. Removing some of those bad land draws for us. And Galta is super cheap now. And he's legendary. Woohoo! Carnage Tyrant. Let's choose a creature we control and a creature you control. Yeah. That definitely didn't feel good. Uh mm. We don't need the lands. There's just no sense in uh, attacking right now. We'll wait until next turn. See if our opponent could come up with any shenanigans that would stop us from irrevocably crushing them. Okay, Twilight Prophet's good. And he does have a sin. Got the city's blessing on that. Alrighty. That works. Well, let's see how it goes. Um, let's see, three, three, eight. Let's go to combat with Galta real quick here. You take damage. Alex to block with Yarrick. Does it have death touch? Oh. Oh. Gee whiz. My Galta. Yeah, go ahead. All right, so I think we go... I think we plus Ugin. Definitely. Ooh, I like that a lot. 
plus Ugin, Carnage Tyrant. Draw a card. Leaf Kindred. Draw a card. Land for the turn. And say go. Land, say go. Reclamation Sage coming out for that Guardian Project. That's a good hit. That's definitely a good hit. Yes, sir. Gonna need to do that for sure. Double tip, draw a card. Opt. Scry one, draw a card. You know, something about Mean Green, though, like, especially in a singleton deck, green just feels really good. Almost always very consistent. Beast Whisperer is just as good for us here, uh, but I think we resolve... I think we start by resolving Anissa so we can compound the effectiveness of our mana. We, will not fail. we have to plus... Ugin to save it from the Twilight Prophet. I really would have liked to have had that spell, actually. Uh, we can tap the Leafkin Druid for two. We can tap a Forest for four. Play a Beast Whisper. And then play a Ripjaw Raptor. And draw a card. <laughs> now, now that was good. Uh, let's choose a land we control. How about... Uh, it's almost time to crack that memorial, so we'll just untap a forest. Behold, nature's true power. <laughs> you feel like I'm going to draw out? Nah, not even close. Let's go to combat. Combat here, combat here, combat here. Yeah, that's good in terms of priority. That works. Yeah, we should have swung with the spirits too, but we can get him next turn. I should have lethal next turn. No problem. Maybe. It's a lot of cards. I've definitely got lethal next turn. Unless he can wipe the board. We should have absolutely swung with all the spirits though. You are correct. Kind of like, you know, I, I can see that people... Yeah, we would have won. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's all right. It's my first time with my brainchild green singleton deck here. So, let's get... Yeah, getting the ripjaw seems good. That's fine. He's still in a really bad way here. And he wants to attack the Ugin, because this is this is his little draw card engine here. Yeah. Yep. That's what I would have expected. Caution, mortal. So I think we just go ham here and go all out, don't we? Yep. Plus Nissa. Just for safety's sake. Shaper Sanctuary, that's funny. Uh, we could absolutely pop the memorial first. Oh, my. It's a good thing we're putting those on the bottom of the library. We'll take the druid or the driver.
Yeah, go to combat full here. Seems good. Got him. <laughs> so Green Singleton. Embarrassment of lukewarm riches. <laughs> uh, that is true. Hey, we picked up a reward. Oh, man, sweet. An Amonkhet Mountain for Arena, a set we can't actually play. A set we can't play, but we've got mountains. a mnemonic betrayal okay so do we keep with green or do you want to try out that white one that i put together stay with green mix it up hello uh did we lose arena audio can you guys hear arena Interesting. Desktop audio we could put. I'm Technical snafu. Uh-oh. Arena kind of, kind of bit it. <laughs> yeah, arena fail. Oh no. Oh no, here we are. We're trying to stream, trying to stream Magic the Gathering and Magic the Gathering doesn't want to be streamed. Oh. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. Well, I guess we could. Uh... All right. Let's try to bring it back up again. Sorry about that. Nah, I'm not going to control alt delete on it. Let's try to bring it back up. Should be no problem. Magic the Gathering. Oh, we're back. Let's resume that. Sorry. Sorry. I've been talking to the people at Watsi for a while now. What it's like to be truly excellent. And this game is truly excellent. So let's continue with Mean Green. Or uh, we'll try white, and then if that doesn't work out as well as I think it will, we'll go back to me and green. Okay, here we go. A little bit of white singleton. Mono white's always really good as well. It's just so low to the ground. As long as I can find... See, the thing I, I really like about that green deck is there's multiple avenues to just start drawing, drawing, drawing cards, as you clearly saw in that last game. But white can be very low to the ground and go very wide quickly as well. So this is an interesting hand, and I'm tempted to just play anything, even though this is nothing but commons and uncommons. I'm going to try it. Hopefully this doesn't go as poorly as it could, because it could go very poorly. But we'll find out. I'm going to resolve the Diamond Mare. And choose white. Oh, I should have chose green. <laughs> Alrighty. We've dealt our first damage. Oh, no. We were talking about this today. It's, it's going to be nothing but rats. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. It's going to be 
nothing but rats. And I've got a 2-2 first striker. So he won't swing until they have three toughness. At which point, we're in bad shape. Choosing rats! Gnarly, that's gnarly. And so is that, my friends. <laughs> uh oh. Thanks. <laughs> oh. It's just too funny. <laughs> Turns out well balanced creatures with flying, lifelink, first strike, and vigilance can win you games. <laughs> oh, man. Well, this event may go pretty quickly. All right, we got the forest. Got the forest, too. Pretty sick. Pretty, pretty, pretty sick. I see you, I see you lurking there, Dr. Salvador. I see you lurking there. When are you going to say hi? Say hi. Say hi. Please. All right. Well, we won one with the white deck, too. We really didn't get to see it do the whole... And then we don't get the rats. Um... This seems awful, but I'm just going to play anything. It's Singleton. Yeah, I switched to white just to try it out. I don't know if you caught that last game, but it was actually pretty funny. They were playing Rat Colony, and I was able to get out a Sunhome Stalwart with uh, On Sarah's Wings. And they swung in with a 4-3, and I blocked it first strike and gained three life, and they quit. They scooped immediately. So, um, I don't know. Not, not too sure. Uh, it's instant speed. I, I'd like to get the counter on it now. I don't know that that's that valid of a combat trick. It's probably more just about starting to gain some life here and put distance between us. Mono black vamps. Like it. Like it. Got some life linking stuff going on himself. Uh, I'll go ahead and resolve a bounty agent just to have it in play, just in case. And attack. Yeah, man. Great to be streaming with you guys. No blocks. Uh oh. That's a problem. Alrighty. Flying Vigilance Lifelink. Might be facing down some removal here. Okay, Sky Marcher's fine. No blocks. Oh, that's gorgeous.
Combat tricks. Combat tricks. He's looking for white mana, so he's definitely looking for white mana. Cast down's good. I don't know. Was he tar did he target the right card? I mean, no blocks. Look at us just trading life back and forth. This is kind of silly. <clears throat> and that's a good chump blocker for us. Yeah, we'll resolve that. Would like to find another planes here to be able to get Lyra on board. I'll we'll have to wait and see here how this goes. He's got many more cards in hand than I do. So. Pass the blockers. Get the death toucher. They trade off. Nice. I mean, do we... Do we just stop him from... I don't think we do. I don't think we seal away yet. Hopefully we haven't... ...earned our... ...our good fortune here. We don't seem to be... We could seal it away now. Take the three. Okay, so Mentor of the Meek is good. Definitely helps us. Okay. Well, we have lost Arena Audio again. It pooped out on us. So, I uh, don't know what to say about that. I will try to reset it after this again. Uh, no attacks. We will... Wait a second. Was it our last opponent? Okay, it was our last opponent that played the Varaskis Contempt. Um, I'll block here. We might be in a bad, kind of a bad situation with this. Luminous Bonds is perfect for the Knight of the Ebon Legion. Oh, no. Oh, no, guys. Arena's really kind of tanking tonight. Hopefully this doesn't uh, become one of those situations where Arena stops us from doing a, a great stream. CPUs are only at 8.9%, even with the recording and the streaming and the audio and Streamlabs and the whole thing. I don't think it's the unit. Connection lost to the server. Uh-oh.
Okay, so now it's my turn. Why did my seal away not allow me to target anything? It might be the singleton patch. I mean, we could try to pull up another game. And out. Okay. So she helps. Would have been great if that seal away would have given me the opportunity to be able to target something. A little bit again. May end up being a very short stream. Hopefully not. Hopefully we can power through. Our opponent has many more cards in hand than we do. Hiromancer's Cage is good. And I say we go for the Icon. Yeah, nothing was tapped. That's my bad. I came back and was scrambling. I didn't know. I'm going to swing with Tomek here. Putting some counters on Blast Zone. Going to get Lyra. That is for certain. Yeah, green, green kind of felt better, didn't it? have to see it's difficult to say one thing's for certain drawing lands when we need action is uh hey man thanks nate good to see you brother i appreciate that good to see you brother welcome to the stream welcome to the stream All right, let's scoop here. Why am I ruining the stream? That's what I'm, that's the reason I, that is the reason that I was selected to stream tonight was to irrevocably ruin the stream, Slipknot. To make it so there is no more. There is no more Lance Go. <laughs> I'm ruining it tonight. I'm ruining the stream. So I thought green was better. I thought green was better. Uh, we are playing the Amonkhet Singleton event in pursuit of some more unhinged lands. And I put together a white singleton deck, which we can look through these if you guys want to look through these real quick. Why not? Just kind of give you an idea of what I had put together. Here it is. So we got the Dauntless Bodyguard, Healer's Hawk, Hunted Witness, Land and Vanguard on the one drops. Makes sense, right? Probably the best one drops in standard right now. Again, going through lots of life gain in this white deck. I tried to focus on a lot of the...
early a Johnny's pride mate, and then it just does what it does, right? Diamond Mare, Baffling In, Battlefield Promotion, some of the good combat tricks that kind of take place. I really like Triumph of Gerard. I mean, honestly, as I'm going through some of this, what you're seeing is a reflection of like me not getting a chance to play a lot of these cards and wanting to play a lot of these cards. So uh, some good four drops, some of the best. Shalai, Land and War Leader, Ixlan's Binding, On Sarah's Wings. And then some good five drops as well. Kept the curve to the top at five and just trying to get there. It is not the most powerful singleton deck uh, we could be playing. Uh-oh. Looks like we're getting a hit offline again. Yep, Arena is tanking. Oh, it's back. Okay, so uh, let us go back to our decks here, and then Mean Green. I'm I'm really really liking this. This is this is just Singleton machine right here. Just give it a look. So much, so much. And timed out. Please try to refrain from posting in all caps. <laughs> oh, you like the blue? How about red? You like the red? It kind of just makes it look like. <laughs> the blues more all right i'll just stop it on the blue okay doke yeah it's kind of doing some stuff with the the blue is more land say go land say go 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 all right um Okie doke. So yeah, let's take this in. Let's go play some Singleton. We're choosing this deck. Home. I'm going Singleton. Mean Green. And let's roll. Let's get there. This is a family-friendly stream. Alrighty. So Steel Leaf Champion, Beast Whisperer, Night Pack Ambusher, and four lands. That seems keepable to me. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Okay, good idea. Oh. It was waiting on me. Got some green and Delanawar Elves. Uh-oh, we might get outpaced here. Somebody may have had the same good idea we did. Oh! Nice. Nice. That's ugly. That's ugly. He better have a Lava Coil for that champion. Adds a green. Casts nothing. So do we Jade Light or do we Champion? We Champion. Yeah, the Singleton patch. I mean, there's definitely some lag that's going on with this right now. I mean, it's been dropping audio, stutter step in. Rhythm of the Wild. Nice. This is a pretty good setup. The fact that he doesn't have a blocker to stop us from getting Domri, though, <laughs> is very bad for him. And we're going to go to combat first. 
And we're gonna kill Domri. Oh, looks like your old mouth. Probably didn't want bad. that to happen. And we'll whisper. Got five mana, though. Lots of big nasty stuff can show up with five mana. That is for certain, my friends. For certain. Like that. That's big nasty stuff for five mana. Big nasty stuff for five mana. Okay. I'm okay with that. Is he going to loot? He's looting. <laughs> Is Debo getting too excited? He hasn't said anything besides keep. Alright, so it's our turn. Uh, let's go ahead and... I do like Bark Hydral. I say we... Let's find Mare. And draw Thorn, Lieutenant. And go to combat at Sarkin. I would hope he wants to keep Sarkin and we get to clip the Paradise Druid. He doesn't want to keep Sarkin. Nicobolus! I have failed you! Nicobolus! I have failed you! <laughs> I didn't know that he said that. I don't know that I've heard it. Debo! <laughs> He's been timed out again. He's been timed out again for typing in all caps. A neon heart sign that says, I love Debo. <laughs> I mean, De Debo is my buddy, so. That's, that, my friends, is a big Hydra. That is a big Hydra. We can really start going wide with the Nightpack Ambusher, though. But we gotta survive that. A Trampler. That's a big Hydra, am I right? Boo! He's been drinking. <laughs> I mean, there's a chance. He is home. Alone. Uh, let's just run out some creatures. And if we have to, we'll, we'll go big blocks. Oh, hello, baby cakes. I love you. So just with the Nightpack Ambusher, the token it creates, and the Barkhide Troll at flash speed, we can kill the Hydra. And next we'll go to combat, and attackers, and not attack, and end the turn. And let's see if we can't flash in a Nightpack Ambusher here, because I'm pretty sure he's going to swing with that Hydra. Pretty, pretty, pretty sure that he's going to swing with that Hydra. We'll have to see. Fight with fire on the Whisperer. That doesn't feel great. Gruel Spellbreaker. It's a 5-5, five, five, ladies and gentlemen. Pass to attackers. Does not attack. Well, let's go ahead and maximize our mana here. And not attack and put a token into play. And make him do something. He's stream sniping. <laughs> this is a problem. She's a problem. That's fun. You play your land, cousin.
Oh, baby. Mm, I think we wait on Ronus just a little bit. Let's wait on Ronus just, just a scotch. Let's Jade Light Ranger. Oh, I love that. We're leaving that right there, and you can even see it. <clears throat> you can even see that if you'd like. Uh, mm, no, not just yet. <laughs> Not just yet. Thrash for two. We can resolve Maltani and the Thrash. This is gonna be great. It's gonna be bad for you. Get to remove his other Planeswalker. Thrashing Brontodon's fine. For now. Turns it into a 4-5. Pass, pass to the end of combat, and it's my turn. So, let's resolve Multani. Oh, yeah. And Thrash. It certainly could. It absolutely could. We're going to Thrash. Choosing Multani. And we're going to take six. But we can't let him well, continue with that. And then next turn, I say we got Eternal Ronus and just go ham. Just go ham. What do you guys think? Depends. He can block a lot of it. We're not, I mean... We're going to have some pretty bad trades. We can always just bring Multani back. Um, G -U -R. I say Ronus go ham. What do you guys say? First person to say yes or no. That's what we do. Let's just do it. First person. First person. Or we could get another wolf token. And wait. And wait for the absolute. Yeah, it's now or never. You're right. Let's just go. We're going ham. Woohoo! Yeah. Get some. He might be thinking to himself, Oh crap. <laughs> Multani has trampled. It's an 18 9 trampler right now. He's, tr he's trying to do the math. He's only at 20 life. So. Okay. He's still dead. He's still. I mean, he's dead. Maybe. There's still 18. 28. Math is definitely for blockers, Nate. <laughs> Math is definitely for blockers. Okay. So there's 18, 24 coming through. That's not going to get you there. Good game. Good game. Had me on the ropes for just a second there. <laughs> the troll face. <laughs> oh, man. Let's claim a prize. That was a... That was a terrible prize. Oh, we got a pack. It's gonna be a wild card. 
It's a double wild card. Oh, it's 20 gems. I mean, I guess we could use those two. We've really maxed this out. I wish we could choose which pack we get. Can we do that? Can we modify? No, we can't, can we? It's just a pack of course at 2020. That's what we get. But we did get some... Uh, we need those two, so that's fine. Back in Amonkhet Singleton with Mean Green. Do you guys want to build another one to test it while we're all on stream here? Nah. <laughs> I mean, that'd take up a good majority of the remainder of the stream if we were to sit here and do a Singleton deck, right? Unless one of you guys wants to send me a list. Send me a Singleton list and I will play it right now. Right now. Slipknot, where you at, brother? Oh, Slipknot's still in here. That's good. Johnny Five bailed on us, though. All right, so Shaper Sanctuary to start. I really like. Well, you guys will get an opportunity to play the event. It's pretty fun. I'm excited about Brawl, actually. I'm really excited about Brawl. This is a risky keep, in my opinion. But we do have the Shaper Sanctuary, and I really like that. So, let's, let's chance it. I know, I give you guys a choice to do it, and then immediately, immediately take away. <laughs> Cabal Stronghold. Really fun and interactive. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Brr! Bark I troll. Brr. Not a bad little uncommon, honestly, right? Could be a great uncommon. And we're drawing the lands we need. Do we get rid of this Midnight Reaper now to remove the tempo? My instinct is telling me yes. It is. So I'm going to do it. You can go ahead and have your one card. And then we'll rip Jaw Raptor next turn. Ooh, that's a problem. We probably should have saved it for that. <laughs> well, we could try to catch him with a Night Pack Ambusher. You think he'd attack? You think he'll attack? I say we chance it. Yeah, we should have swung first. He draws a card. Twilight Prophet's good. Uh oh. Nom 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 nom. Hey. Black has a very hard time dealing with enchantments, folks. Good game. I won't do it. I won't do it. Oh! Yeah, I'll take the action. Thanks. Ooh! Oh, things are starting to happen to us now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. If a thousand... If a thousand level IQ is on the 10,000 point scale, I'd, ag I'd agree with you wholeheartedly. It was a thousand level IQ. <laughs> Memorial to Folly. 
Brings back the Dread Presence. I would have too. Honestly, that card is fantastic. Vraska's Contempt. Just giving me cards. There's probably better targets considering the Guardian Projects in play. But I see not wanting me to draw two cards a turn. I can totally see that. Uh, I think we... I think we... The Cavaliers got Reach. But... Let's go ahead and Biogenicus. <laughs> the noise that the Biogenic Ooze makes when it comes into play sounds very much like some flatulence. <clears throat> Biogenic Ooze. Um, I'm definitely going to block your Chupacabra. And take two from your flyer. And then I'm going to Vivian Reed and kill your Twilight Prophet. Because I'm ruthless. Or I'm going to kill your Spawn of Mayhem. Because I'm... I should get the Twilight Prophet, shouldn't I? Yeah. One damage to each player. I might get the Spawn here. It's tricky. It's tricky, tricky, tricky. Uh, so we've got seven lands. We can draw some cards. We can Vivian and Clip. He doesn't have the Sitting's Blessing yet. Somehow, but he will next turn. So we... Yeah, the spawn is more problematic here. So let's Vivian. I've lost so much Minus already. three. I won't Clip the spawn. Every defeat is a new beginning. Yeah, exactly, exactly. We got to get the spawn. The spawn's just problematic. And let's draw a card for the Guardian Project here. I still got some good hitters in the in the hand. Uh. I wonder if he blocks with Dread Presence here. I'm almost okay if he blocks the Biogenic Ooze here with the Dread Presence, but he won't. Maybe we just... Let's just send the token. Yeah, I know he wouldn't block the token. It's Vivian. I always survive. You'll see. God Eternal Ronus can put us at lethal unless he blocks. So he's gonna lose one of those two creatures if we got Eternal Ronus. Doom Whispers Kind of a problem. Ooh! That hurt. Our opponent's drawn some good cards this game. Definitely drawn some good cards. But so have we. How much mana do we have? Six, seven, eight. That's bad. So... Cavalier to stop the flying damage. Draw a card first. Hopefully it's the one we wanted. That'll work. And I think Ripjaw is good here. Draw a card. Okay. 
And no attacks. We can start, if we have to, if that, you know, if the token survives, or if the biogenic ooze survives. He's at City's Blessing now. Doom Whisperer could definitely be a problem for us. Could be gaining that life back. Okay. Likes what he sees on top there. Ouch. Yep, that hurt. Good combo to be able to find both those. I wish I could draw some of my removal. Any of my removal would be great at this point. Yeah, he, he can't block the horse. Ah, damn. Damn, I should have played it over the Ripjaw last turn for sure. Well, I have to block with the Cavalier. What do we have in the graveyard? Okay, we get Vivian back. Gonna ask me to take that action. He's gonna resolve that Cavalier Knight this turn. Destroy the ooze. Did not play the Cavalier. Yeah, we've definitely got. I mean, obviously, got to go Vivian, of course. Clip the Whisperer to avoid another... Because he doesn't know what's on top here. You may do that as many times as you wish, sir. No one said, ah, not again. And then we Ronus here. Because he has to block, or it's lethal. Great to see him two turns ago. That's still 14. I think we go ham. Goes to one. Ouch. If that's a swamp, we're dead. Good game. Well, our opponent had some excellent draws there. Removal at the right times. Thing. We're playing Singleton. Could even be a boat.
I like that. So, up to three mana. Dressing me for the Vivian. Looks like we got some hand control going on here, which is fine. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nate. Thanks, man. We are, uh... We are definitely applying... a good amount of energy to... uh... making this happen. So... Uh, doing the stream, applying a lot of... of time and... uh... Our goal is to improve something, some element of the stream specifically every single week. Every week. Something better about the stream. Something better about the stream. Uh, I love Rabid Bite here. I, I, I know... I know it's just a comment, but I love this card. Awesome. That's great. Had some combat tricks himself. Uh, no blocks. Oh, I could have blocked it. I don't know why I didn't block it there. I should have used the token. Oh, we'll go Cavalier. I definitely should have blocked with the token there. Now the Evan's out of reach if he continues to swing. But he won't be out of reach of Multani. He'll be very hard-pressed to... He's death touch as well. That's bad news. I haven't really been paying attention to this game, and I feel like I should have been. The early hand destruction definitely hurt, but not too bad. We'll be all right. Alex, not to. I'm just going to run him out here. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to go to combat. My turn. You're taking six, you're going to lose your Knight of the Evan Legion. Mine's bigger. Nice, okay. Works for me. Knight of the Ebon Legion is definitely one of those cards that can just makes you cringe. I'm dumping my hand and going ham, sir. Yeah, people always forget the elf activation. 
Just a little, just a little 2-3. He's just a little 2-3. They always forget the tokens, too, the disfigure. Like, uh, that was probably the opposite of what he was hoping to accomplish. We got a reward. Getting some Amonkhet lands. This is, these are cool events. Kind of allowing us to explore here. So on this next win, we get that. And then the last win, we get another full art. Cool. Cool beans. All right, let's play some more Mean Green Singleton. Little Mean Green Singleton. Went and picked up a went and picked up a new camera. Put up some LEDs on the desk. I'm thinking of doing some Lansego logo stuff back here on the wall. Uh, actually, what'll probably you'll end up seeing here uh, next time you tune in is some some of the foam, the soundproof foam. Even though I really love the blue backdrop here, you may not see the foam. Actually, I may put it in different areas. Uh, this is interesting. We do get a little bit of ramp, a uh, barkhide troll, spotter removal. Like I said, with Singleton, I, I just kind of almost always feel feel like playing anything. There's not really a reason to mull, unless it's just god-awful. And even still then, if it's a god-awful hand, Debo's probably keeping it going forward, right? Right, Debs? It's a blood burglar! Do we ramp here, or do we barkide troll? I think we're fine. Actually, save back the Druid at Cal. With the Beast Whisperer, kind of just use it as a cantrip. Draw a card. Midnight Reaper. <clears throat> so again, Orzhov Vampires seems to be pretty popular in the singleton lists. Ah, well. I say we hold back the Thrash for now. Yeah, you do keep all the god-awful hands, and I love you for it, man. Uh, let's go to combat with the troll. Let's not. No attacks. Let's just be patient here. Okay. He's going wide on us. Go in wide. Our board's pretty boring so far here. I'd imagine that Beast Whisper's not long for this world. They never are. Okay. Very nice. Very, very nice. Well, I really think we should knock that resplendent angel out of the sky. What do you guys think? Vivian dies, though. She will die next turn if he goes full combat. And he'll want to, so let's let's make him... Let's distract him for a moment. We want him to do that. We can't hold back our lines. Feel the wrath. <laughs> I've seen worse. And that is fine. No attacks. Temple of Silence. I'm okay with that, actually. Just like before. I am fine with that. Just fine. <laughs> the harpooner would have been so much more brilliant. What is my problem? I mean, do we Multani draw a card here? Yes. Yes. 
And no attacks. Donna hopes okay. That's good. All right, let's really start drawing some cards here. So let's let's thrash here. Go ahead and drew to the cow. No forest. Oh, he killed my beast whisperer. All right, let's trample him down. Let's start trampling him down here. Would have liked to have gotten a couple more cards off the Beast Whisperer, to be honest, before he cast him down. Maybe I should have done that last turn, just roll out the Crawl Harpoon. Right. Did we lose audio in Arena again? Fantastic. This is why we need to get some music going in the background. How did he play another Knight of the Ebon Legion? What allowed him to get that back? How did he play the Knight of the Ebon Legion again? How did he get the Knight of the Ebon Legion back? Does anybody know? How he was able to do that? He can give the Knight of the Ebon Legion Death Touch. And I can just bring back my Multani. And I will, sir. Oh, I played two vamp decks in a row. Thank you. Thank you. Uh oh. Boy, <laughs> a different game. That's it's so bad. <laughs> okay, arena caught back up. <laughs> oh man. Boy, that Maltani. That Maltani's good. He gets there. Oh! Oh. <laughs> yeah. Really showing my age. <laughs> that's right. Uh, that's really bad. Yeah, I am. Look at, that, look at that Lebowski shirt, though. That's the bee's knees. All right, Vine Mare's good. Um No, we just got to keep we just got to keep playing cards here. I'm going with the crawl harpooner and the druid. Take some damage. Okay. I'm okay with that too. Ah, oh boy. That's a problem. Let's 
so is Nissa, right? Should have been much better earlier in the game. Fights for us. She sounds Irish. That's just like your opinion, man. Not the rug, man. The Chinaman is not the issue here, dude. Also, Asian American, please. Uh, Chinaman is not the preferred nomenclature. That movie is honestly one of my... It is my all-time favorite. I wrote... I wrote uh, a book on that in college and collaborated with a bunch of people and actually ended up getting published at the Cambridge University Press in a book on the Lebowski. I'll show you, I'll show you that book the next time I stream. I'll actually bring it down here uh, and do that with you. So, we get to get really heinous here, and he tapped the Dawnbringer. So, but he's gaining some life here. Big time. Big time, big time, big time. Yeah, ooze is amazing here. It is absolutely amazing here. Uh, do we... Do we go to combat with these lands? I don't think we do. I think we just use them to ooze again, don't we? I think we just use them to ooze again. And then swing with the Vine Mare. Oh, do we want to go to combat with the lands? Because we can, we can tap them on the fly. Yes, we do. We can tap them on the fly and ooze. Unfortunately, we're going to lose Nissa. Rut row, Raggy. That's not good. But I will finish it. That's not good. You belong to me now. Everything's got freaking lifelink, man. Wow, what a turn for our opponent. That was a fantastic turn. Gave her vigilance. The oozes will get me there, but Nissa has to survive. I mean, I guess she doesn't. That's not a good draw. Decent turn. Are you kidding me? It's an amazing turn. And it's all that lifelink. I can't get past I can't get past it all. Problem is I die. I die next turn. Five 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 five. I have I have to go full combat. 
I'm dead next turn. He pumps. These are all flyers. We are dead. We're dead. I can't kill him. But I'm going to swing anyway. But we're dead. I mean, the math just doesn't add up. We're dead. We needed Nissa earlier. Look at look how much life he's gaining. All that life. 14 life. Yeah, two planeswalkers and nine power and toughness, plus he gave lifelink to each one of his angels. Almost! Almost there! We could have done it. It could have been something. It could have been something. Well, that was a good deck. It was a good singleton deck. Ah, oh, we're only an hour and a half into the stream. We got time for more. Let's play some more singleton. Drink some water. Alrighty. Yeah, I like that. That's a great start. It's about where we want to be. Got some ramp. More, more black-white vampires. I'm not worried. We could do it. Nah, it's all right. I guess he just thought he'd offer. Mm. I mean, we could get real ugly here. But let's wait just a little bit. and white. Interesting. No blocks. Well, let's go big or go home. What do we got? Four, five, six mana. Let's put a 12-12 trampler on the board. What do you say? Excuse me, an uh, 8-8 trampler. X equals four. Eight nine trampler. Not bad. That's a good turn. Feather. I like it. We're gonna resolve this Shaper Sanctuary. Sheltering lights. It's about the only thing that saves them, bub. Okay. Nice. Singleton feather. <laughs> oh, man. My life is so weird. <laughs> it's just so weird. Singleton feather.
he tramples. It's fine. And let's... I say we crack the memorial here. Yeah, we're going to crack the memorial. Oh! That hurts so badly, but th look at this draw sequence. It's almost great that we did that, actually. Yeah, absolutely. It's an Amonkhet event because we're getting the Amonkhet basic lands as rewards. And it's not even the full art Amonkhet lands. It's not the ones with the bolus horns, which you'd think that was the thing. That's what we're doing, right? Badly, I wanted that. I think he knows how badly I wanted that. Well, let's keep beating on him. Sure. I mean, they could have. They absolutely could have. I, I don't know. I don't know if they've released a timeline or anything yet on when the historic stuff is actually supposed to take place. But I'm hoping it's pretty soon. I really am. Uh, let's go ahead and block one of the flyers here. This one. And he can give it protection from green. What our opponent doesn't know here is that they've left themselves in a very bad position for this turn. A very bad position indeed. Night pack ambusher at the end of their turn. Let's go to combat. And we're going to swing with everything. Sure. Go ahead. Audio pan, pan sounds left heavy. No, it says I'm on the says I'm on the mid line. How's that sound? Is that better? Am I dead center now? In terms of the monitor? Got him to two. Oh, man! What a top deck! 
What a top deck. Can you guys hear me now? I think I fixed it with the monitor. Watch out for Star of Extinction. <laughs> this game's over, bro. This game's over on trample damage alone. There's nothing you can do. Four, three, two, that's nine, twelve, thirteen, even the trampler. It's just, it's over. Man, game over. Trample. Whenever it's dealt damage, it deals that much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Debo, did I fix the monitor? And why are you chatting with me in the land say go? Hear me, man? All right. Can you guys hear me? Check, check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Yeah, it looks, looks like I'm good. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Slipknot. More and we get the unglued land. Still got time. Still got time in the stream. Let's crack a pack, though. It's gonna be a wild card! Or gen... Axed out Corset 2020 in the collection at this point. If you can... One more win! Let's go get it! One more win. Yeah. Yeah. Drover, Titanic Brawl. Night Pack Ambusher, the Hydra for an early play again. We draw him. Yeah. Like. Let's just keep whatever. Looks like Arena's kind of crapping out on us again tonight. HOTC Rich. Yo dropped out of Arena again. Uh, stall you. Uh, I like run their end step and no attacks and end the turn. Uh oh, Arena really kind of stuttering tonight. That is for sure. Hopefully, we don't see ourselves getting dropped out or something here because um, been pretty been pretty frustrated with alright now it's all back again just for the sake of future streams I'm probably going to do an uninstall and reinstall of arena just to ensure that we're we're okay my mic is cutting out now weird I wonder if it has something to do with somebody in the background is logged in as Lance Go somewhere. <laughs> uh, Passive takers. That's my that's my fault, and it's my turn. So we'll 
Nightpack Ambusher. Oh, that's hardly the win we wanted, folks. That is not the win we wanted. But we got it anyway. <laughs> we got it anyway. All right. There's an unglued land. And we played the event. Fun. I wonder what rewards we get for continuing to play the event. Do we get anything at all, you think? Do we get more of those basic lands? Different ones? Highly doubtful. Highly doubtful. I think we have to play each of the Plankation events to get those. And just to confirm that, let's go in to the collection and search for Swamp. Huh. Do I have to be in decks? I need to work on that rank bad. Not the win I wanted, but the win I deserved. <laughs> I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult. <laughs> it is. It is the one I deserved. You're right. You are right. So let's go into Swamp here. And toggle lands. And we should see that on hinge land now. Yeah, there it is. All right. Let's check mountain. And scroll down. And there's there's the unhinged or unglued mountain. I have to click on the land picture. Yeah, I know. What do you mean? Click on the land picture. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so forest. Obviously, you're not going to come up with a slash there. Probably didn't like that at all. So did we get... Do we have the forest? We do. We've got the forest. Do we... I don't remember when we... When or where we would have earned that, but... Let's look at island. So we don't have an unhinged island. We're on Glued Island. Oh, you're delayed a little bit. I'm sorry about that, brother. I'll keep that in mind. And the planes. We don't have an unhinged planes either. I guess those are coming from other events, or we missed those events. I don't know. Maybe there's more planecation to come. Oh, island and planes left, so we haven't done it yet. Super. Super. That's great. Well, we got through the event today. That was a heck of a lot of fun. Still got about 10 minutes left in the stream here. And what do we need? So weekly wins. We're already at seven for those. Get a bonus card. We got our quest. Pacifism. Okay. Well, let's crack a pack. I know Debo and I need... Um, I think he said he fleshed out Ravnica Allegiance or Guilds? I can't remember. So I'll crack a War of the Spark pack. I don't know how much we cracked. I know I know. back when Matty was playing, he was, he was dumping some... Dumping some support into the collection as well, so... Play around erect. You bet. I've got a deck that I've been playing... Uh, in wrecked before before it rotates. I've been playing a lot of Golgari good stuff. I do love this deck very very much. Al familiar MTG. Oh my, that is ugly. And I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. we got three rounds to play here. Send that baby to the bottom. Don't need another land. Oh, my. Apparently, we need another land.
Looking at some aggro here. Going land heavy. Sure. We are the many. Like it. Good synergy. Another land. Yikes. It's like the game's punishing me for keeping I mean keeping a bad hand. Play the green, give it haste. Beat me down. Nice. Painful. Painful, painful, painful. Oh, he can he can end the game right here, I think. Alright. Well That's what I get for risking it for the biscuit. And now that we know what he's playing, let's beat him two games in a row. So, um, some big bottom dinosaurs with Domery is interesting. We should, unfortunately, my sideboard is set up to contend with lands primarily. But uh, we can go a little taller. We can absolutely go a little taller. So we'll drop a Paradise Druid. Drop a Land of War Elf. Liliana's great here. Drop one Casualties. And go with three Shifting Ceratops. Drop a Ceratops. Click Done. I mean, all Land Sago decks absolutely play well you know 30 between 30 and 36 lands 30 and 36 lands yes that's a keeper that is a keeper Fifty lands are no deal. You know, there's a lot of decks in Legacy where that's a real thing. How's that for some ramp? That doesn't feel bad at all. Ever majestic no lands. <laughs> yeah, you've got a point there for sure. Had him fight instead of doubled the counters. How manly is that? That's tremendously manly. Graveyard. Library. Uh, let's go to combat. Keeping up the trophy. But yeah, I wanted to play some Golgari good stuff before... Uh, really, before rotation. Ju just to ensure that uh, I got an opportunity to make people as sad as I have been playing against this deck. Because it can be tremendously good. It almost always seems like it has answers. For example, the Assassin's Trophy on the Resolved Ripjaw that made my opponent quit. Because that's his little game plan, is to try to get draw triggers off of the Ripjaw. 
Or maybe he just had a really slow hand, you know? We are we are clearly decidedly on the back foot here. Uh, decidedly on the back foot here when they are on the play. We we look and feel much, much, much worse. So uh but anyway. Great magic players show dominance in every situation. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying stop making excuses. Okay. You're absolutely right. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm sorry. All right, cast down's good. Cast down is a reason to keep. like wild growth walker here as long as it survives which is probably a pretty good chance it doesn't it does and we are in a tremendously good position I think we branch walk here Yeah, we branch walk here. We'll go ahead and th throw that in the graveyard. And no attacks. And now the coil. Nice. No blocks. Let's get our second black source there. We can always get the wild growth walker back. And we'll go ahead and make him pay. And go to combat. Okay, and now we can absolutely find our boys, and that never feels good when you've just spent your entire first four turns, and we're right back to where we started. Charging monster sword's good. Very good. What? We can wild growth walker. Branch Walker. And gain some life. Bad news bears. <sighs> hmm. I think we shifting ceratops. We got to play the long game here. So we shift in Ceratops. And then we can find back... We'll, we'll find Nality, actually, won't we? Okay. No attacks. I'm 
I'm gonna block. Okay, spellbreaker's fine. And land where else? Sure. So this is exceptional, my friends. Nice. A very nice. Well, we find ourselves in a really interesting position. Your turn. And all of our finalities are in the graveyard. And I've gotta. Can't be getting trampled down here. Let me rip a Liliana one time. Field after his draw step. Why don't we field right now? Zoom Carla, thank you for the follow. I really appreciate that. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate that. We need all of the support we can. Oh, that hurts. Let's field again. Start drawing some gas, hopefully. Because one thing is for certain, we need a card. <laughs> we, de we definitely need a card. Hey, what did I say? Let me rip her one time. Just let me rip her one time. Each player sacrifices two creatures. Now nah, we'll put a token in the play. And draw some cards after this. No attacks. Your turn, bub. Yeah! Ranked. We need to play a lot more of this. We kind of get sidetracked to start playing in all these events and stuff. We need to get up to Mythic. Seriously, take it. Take it seriously. Well, that was a good game of Ranked. Like I said, Golgari good stuff, man. I just love... I love this deck. I'm glad that, like, I finally committed. I was on this, like, I was on this, like, I don't like that deck. because, And then most of the reason I didn't like Golgari, and I probably should have played it in a lot of the tournaments and stuff as well. Uh, and I, I definitely should have played it in the tournaments and stuff as well, but uh, I did not. And it probably would have been really wise for me because it's a very winning deck. Yeah, L Lily's very strong, especially at that point where we're both top decking. Lily is clearly uh, where we want to be. But, yeah. Yeah. Man. Well, talk about a good time, guys. A two hour stream. It's generally liked where I like to cut them off. Uh, Slipknot, Nate, thank you for joining me for the majority of the evening. Shout out to Johnny5. Shout out to Debo for stopping in and to Dr. Salvador MD for stopping into the stream. Good to see you, my friend. 
And uh, thank you to our new follower, Zun Carla. Zun Carla, I appreciate that. If you enjoy the stream, please spread the word. Go to www.lansago.com. Uh, we do articles. We'll be doing some much more kind of redacted articles and deck lists and stuff of things that we like on a go-forward basis. All of our streaming content is presented in stream recaps the day after. Of course, you can go to Twitch and just pull up those streams. If uh, watching people be bad at the game of Magic is your thing, then do that. Do that. Join us on the sideboard. It's a Facebook group. It's open to join. Lots of people there conversing. Well, not really so much conversing as just watching us post more random content and stuff. But uh, thanks. I appreciate that, Nate. I hope you guys have a great night. Hope you have a great start to the work week. And we will be back tomorrow with another stream at 9 o'clock Central Time. Be well. See you, Slipknot. Later, Nate.